welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So on today's video, I'll be doing my first product review on the channel and the products are from a company called ZSCM. They reached out to me and um, requested that I do a review on some of their products. They allowed me to just choose a couple of products um, that I would like to try out and just um, let you guys know about them really. Now, you guys know how limited my coloring supply collection is and I'm very keen to keep it limited, to be honest. And so I have been asked by a few companies um, to do reviews and I have unfortunately turned them down because I don't want to be someone who just collect stuff um and so if and when a company does request me to do a re review i'll only do it if i really am interested in a product um or if i want to try out that product now recently i have been getting into or i've been interested in the acrylic paint pens alternatives to posca so as you guys may have seen in my coloring supply collection I probably have I definitely have black and white and I probably have like another four or five colors I may have shown and that's it and I bought that right at the beginning of my um coloring journey that was in 2020 and I never bought any other Posca colors other than those um but I have been interested in using them in my coloring recently and I've tried I don't know if you guys would have heard of Thule Art so I just recently bought one of their sets um, to try out, which I was really enjoying. And so when ZSCM um, reached out to me and I saw that they had um, some acrylic paint markers, I decided why not, I'll try them out. And my main thing that I wanted to try out from them was their um, set of 21 glitter um, acrylic markers because the Thule Art ones were out of stock and have been out of stock for a while. I wanted to try them out and I couldn't get a hold of them. So I saw that they had the, some glitter paint markers and I decided I'd really like to try these out because I had been looking at these on Amazon. Um, so I was really happy to see that they had some uh, to try out. And then I just um, picked a few other colors of paint markers. So I'm going to give my honest opinion on this, I'm always going to give my honest opinion if I ever do another review because I don't tend to spend so much on coloring supplies. As you guys are aware, I used my same supplies in pretty much every page. And so I'll be critical about whether I would spend my own money on this. So I'm going to try out, I'm going to show you what they're like. I'm going to try them out on screen for you um, on a piece of paper. And then at the end, I'll tell you whether, if I had to spend money on it, whether I would do that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in tr checking these out, then stay tuned. I'm just going to move these to the side and then I'll get started. I think I'll show you the glitter, yeah, the glitter acrylic markers first, because that was the main product that I wanted to try out. All right, so let me get started. Okay, so these are the ZSCM 21 piece glitter pens. They're acrylic um, paint pens, glitter ones. And they come in a lovely case um, like this. I don't, again, I'm someone who doesn't go and just buy cases, but I don't have that many pencil sets or pen sets as you guys know. So I don't tend to go and buy cases, but it's really nice that um, these pens have come in a case so I can store them nicely. And you get 21 glitter colors. So that's really nice too. Um, I like the range of colors. Um, the case itself fits well. You can obviously, when you finish these um, glitter pens, you can always reuse the case for other pens or for pencils, maybe glitter gel, I mean gel pens, any gel pens. So you could use that. Obviously there's only 21 slots, so it depends on your collection size. And it has a little zip here. Um, if you wanted to put your swatch card, you can put it in there. There's a little card in here. I think it's just information really. Um, so it's just saying welcome to their store and just talking about their products. Yeah. Um, so yeah, nice little case to store your pens in. 
I like the range of colors. I have swatched them out. I will do it on screen so you guys can see how it flows as well. But I just swatched them out because I didn't want to waste your time on activating all of the colors. I've left, I think, a couple of colors to activate on screen so you guys can see how long it takes to activate them. And then I'll also test a few on screen so you can see how it flows. But these are the colors, bar, I think, two. Um, so two of them are not on this swatch yet. Rough swatch, really. Um, but the colors are really actually quite nice. I, yeah, they are glittery because you know a lot of pens that say they're glitter pens then turn out to look quite metallic. I think a lot of, most of them, I would say, are glittery. You get a good sparkle there. But there are a certain, I would say, like that one there, the darker colors, that those three, I think, and that blue, that is not got as much sparkle as the rest, I think. Um, there you go, can you see that? So yeah, there are a few, I would say, could have a little bit more sparkle, so four of them, but the rest are really nice. And that one, I wanna test it maybe on over pencils because that's meant to be this, oh, you can't see it, can you? Um, this one here, which to me looks quite clear, like as if it would work over pencils possibly. So we'll try that out and see whether you can use it like, you know how you use the, is it um, Sakura Jelly Roll, the clear one that you can put over pencils? I've not tried that one out, but then it's also like the, obviously the tip is not the same, but like um, Wink of Stella or the Spectrum Noir Clear Gel, which you just put over any color pencil and just make it sparkle. So hopefully that works that way. So we'll try that out. And uh, yeah, so a nice range of colors, has got a good sparkle to them. And I will just maybe pull one out to try in front of you guys. So this is what the pen looks like. I think they, they're quite nice. They feel nice. Um, the tip, okay, this one is one I've already activated. The tip is a, I think it's a 0.7 millimeter tip, which would be equivalent to a Posca 1M, which is what I tend to use quite often, more than a 1MR. Um, so yeah. It's a decent size for our coloring books. Um, I like that it has a clear barrel and you can see the ink in there. I think that's really nice because you can see the sparkle of the ink. You can see how much ink you have left. So that's really good. Um, and on the barrel, it's just written the name. So glitter paint, uh, you know, the, what, what the product is really. And just says, um, you know, UV resistant, waterproof, um, exceptional coverage pigment ink and um, on the if you just turn it around it just shows you how to sort of use the pen so how to activate the pen and get started um, and it's all quite nice and sparkly but um, one thing it doesn't have is a name of the color or a number so we don't have anything which I think is a bit of a negative because I like to swatch my pens out but um, it's not a big deal we can just create our own really um, just maybe put a sticker on, well, depending on how you're storing it. So if they're like that, you could put a sticker so that you can see them or at the end over here, or you can put it on the tips there. Um, but yeah, so we could, uh, name them ourselves, but ideally if it came named, that would be nicer. Um, so like any other, um, you have to shake it like any other paint marker or paint pen, you have to shake them before you get started. You can hear the ball in there. And then, there we go. So it is quite nice. My handwriting is not very good. But you can see the size is pretty good for our coloring books. And this one, does this one have, yeah, that one has a nice sparkle, doesn't it? So you can get really thin, you can get some coverage. Um, so yeah, nice and juicy. I can try out another one. Um, let's go for maybe a green. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> yeah, that's got a nice sparkle to it. Okay, it's jumping a little bit, isn't it? Maybe it's me, no. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they are quite juicy, I think. 
can see this yeah that's that's a nice sparkle isn't it on the green so i feel like the darker shades their sparkle is a little bit less than the lighter shades but yeah you get a good sparkle um so activating it so this is one i don't think i've activated yeah i haven't activated yet so the nib is like i said 0.7 millimeter nib like a sort of like a posca 1m i would say but it's not i think if i'm not mistaken isn't the posca 1m a bit like it has a fabric nib this one is plastic so if you guys have tuli art i would say it's comparable the nib is comparable to the tuli arts so it's a plastic one i don't know if i'm catching that nicely yeah so um Basically, the instructions tell you to shake, 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 shake. So I'm shaking. And the good thing is with these ones, you can actually see whether they're sh um, you've shaped them well enough. Like this one, you can see that the color is a bit glittery on this side. And on this side, it's a little bit less glittery. So you know it's not, sh uh, sh you haven't shaken it, shaken it very well. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice to be able to see that you've shaken shook it well there we go shook <laughs> all right so once you've shook it then you activate it by pressing it down once or twice now they say you can use your finger but for me it kind of pokes me so I don't like to do that um, so I just sort of press it down onto the paper twice and then I tend to hold my pens until the ink starts to flow um, rather than pumping it up and down and the good thing here, again, is that because it's clear, you can sort of see the ink coming through slowly. There we go. Oh, that's a nice color. So I hadn't tested that color. That's got a nice sparkle to it. And you can see how juicy that was. Yeah, I quite like that. So if I add it to my, well, I think I would probably do a better swatch, but. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice and juicy. I think one advantage, is, one advantage over glitter gel pens with the acrylic paint markers is um, that they dry a lot quicker than a glitter gel pen. Um, maybe because it is paint so i find that they dry a lot quicker which is nice um so yeah i'm just going to do that didn't take me very long to activate when i was activating the other ones i felt like it took me ages but that didn't actually take too long so i'm going to try this one now i left two to try and activate to show you guys so i'm shaking it and then there we go and then oops so this one just came off that's because we haven't activated it yet so we need to that's probably why they make you do it with your finger upright <laughs> but there we go so now it's not popping up and then i just hold it there and wait for the ink to come through so yeah i find that they are glittery not metallic which is good because a lot of pens tend to say glitter and then it looks metallic they, they look quite juicy when, when you use them. They feel nice in your hand. They have nice colors. Um, this one, it the other one didn't take too long to activate. So I would say activating didn't take too long, but this one is taking a little bit longer. So maybe it varies between the colors. I don't like to pump it up and down because I feel like it could ruin your nib, especially the plastic ones maybe, but it's coming through now. You can see it. So that's good. I like that you can see when it's coming and you're not just there pumping away thinking, is it going to come? Is it not going to come? Um, so yeah, and there we go. We've got it going. Yeah, so that's quite juicy too, isn't it? And I like that color too. Yeah. Nice. So there we go. That one's dried up a little bit, so you can see that a bit better now. I'm going to add it to this swatch. I might have to try 
actually blending like you know how I tend you guys have seen me on some of my videos where I use glitter gel pens and I use two shades and try and uh, do blending basically I'm going to try and do that actually on screen to see if that would work because I like to uh, rather than just flat color I do tend to like blending so those two colors look really nice so it would be handy if we knew the name but I'm assuming it's this one here from the order of the colors so if I was to do this in a book I would put my dark shade first so if I just put a bit over here take my lighter one yeah that could work couldn't it there we go this is just copy paper remember that so it would probably pill quite easily with these juicy paint markers but um you can blend so that would be nice to try yeah okay i'm happy with that because yeah i don't like flat coloring very much even when it comes to my glitter pens so glitter gel pens so yeah that's nice to know so yeah i think um that's really nice and then i wanted to try this clear one or oh, i think is clear um so if i just show it to you it's quite juicy again when i tried to swatch it it's got a nice sparkle this one has a nice sparkle to it if they sold these separately that would be quite nice these are all quite, the rest of the colours are quite opaque, but this one actually looks quite clear, which is why I thought I've got some, rather than using my Faber Castell Albrecht Dura, I can, I have one here, but uh, I'll first use it on a uh, Castle Art. I don't have that many colour uh, brands to try it on, but because my Albrecht Dura are obviously watercolour pencils, they will smudge with me putting this over it. So I'm going to try it with the Castle Art. And then I'll try to, I'll just show it to you with my Albrecht Dura because I would use it on Albrecht Dura. It's just that you have to be a bit more careful when you apply anything over watercolour pencils. But there we go. So that works, doesn't it? Because you can still see the colour. Yeah, so it would work like a gl clear, clear glitter pen over any colour you want to put it on. So that is handy, although I don't think they sell these separately, but if anything, I would tell them, I would get back to them and tell them if you could supply these separately, just this color, that would be really nice. I think that would, that works really well. So there we go. So those are the glitter pens. Um, so that worked. I'm just going to show it to you on my usual Albrecht Dura. I have a, what do I have here? A dark red out. And it will work on this too. It's just that it will pull the color a bit more. But it makes it vibrant. But you can see because it's watercolor pe uh, pencils, it picks up all the colors. So you have to make sure you clear, clean it all out. Um, and if you're using more than one color, it's going to blend all those colors because they're watercolor pencils. They're not just going to stay put like the other pencils. So... There we go. Nice sparkle to whatever colour you want to use. So I like that. I like this one really a lot. I like it more than my, dare I say, I like it more than my Spectrum Noir um, clear glitter brush, um, the brush one. So which one is that? Here. Because I have more control of it, over it because of the nib, uh, because this one is a brush pen, a brush tip, I think uh, I have less control. So that one is quite nice that way. All right, so that is the glitter um, pens by ZSCM, and yeah, I quite like them. Um, there are quite a few positives, a couple of negatives, in that some of them were not as sparkly. So the dark shades, that one, that one, that one, that one, the black, were not as sparkly as I would expect, but then the others are nice and sparkly. Um, I like the size for our coloring books. I like that they have a clear barrel. They look nice. They feel good in your hand. Um, they were juicy and yeah, they have nice colors. They were, they're colors I would use as glitter pens. And so this particular set, um, was 42, $43 basically, which is 35 pounds roughly. 
and if you compare it to a i'm going to compare it to a posca because everyone likes um tends to use posca at the moment in the coloring community and i guess that's the top of the you know of all the brands uh for paint pens so i would compare it to those and the posca 8 glitter pack is an 8 glitter pack is 19 pounds so this is a lot cheaper for me i would say for what i use it for i think the posca range is really nice no negatives about it however it's more for artistic level i would say i don't think i get the full benefits i don't use it to its full potential in a coloring book so for what i use glitter markers or paint gel pens or you know paint markers for is literally just to add a little bit of sparkle to my pages a few dots here and there a few lines here and there um so for that i would say the price of these for me are better um than i would you know the posca pens because yeah i don't think i'd use a posca pen to its full potential the way it's supposed to be used but anyway so that's the glitter pens now let's move on to the next product i got so the acrylic paint markers it's, um a set of 56 and it came in a box like this if you can see all right it's the box is empty now i have taken it out um and so there are 56 pieces in this there's a box of 12 pastel paint markers acrylic paint markers a box of 12 classic a box of 12 glitter and a box of 20 black and white um so 10 blacks and 10 whites so i'll move this to the side and i'll show you how they came so we have the 20 piece black and white the glitter 12 piece the 12 piece pastels and the 12 piece classic now i wouldn't leave it in this packaging because it's it came really nice so you know it's come nice and secure however um it's not easy to use them out of this packaging so yes you would need to move it into either a pencil yeah in, into a pencil case or whatever you like to store your paint markers in um so yeah i would not leave it in these um boxes for using yeah but let's start with maybe the classic so these three boxes the classic the pastel and the glitter i haven't yet tried the black and white so i'll try that on screen but with these ones i have sort of tested them and i have got my swatch ready and i've left one in each box to activate with you guys so it comes like this in a box um telling you what it is you get a chisel and a bullet i'll show that to you and um just instructions on how to get them going on the back all right and then if you open the box sorry for the noise guys this is the classic set oh it's going to make a lot of noise on my desk all right so if you don't like plastic the sound of plastic i'm so sorry um so yeah so this is the classic set okay i've swatched them out on the top here bar one so there is one that we need to swatch out, which is this one. OK, so I'll just show you the new one, actually. So this is the classic acrylic paint paint marker. And it says marks on anything water based five millimeters. And then pigment ink, strong covering for sunproof, waterproof. Yeah. And then. In the inside you it's set to the bullet point but i think it should be easy to pull out yeah and you have a chisel so you can choose that's the chisel tip you can choose which side you want to which one you would use now i would usually use bullet i've never really used chisel so i would leave it to that setting um but i would tend to if you use one over the other tip i would probably set it to that side before you activate it because then it'll be a bit messy to change it over so i know i use bullet i don't use chisels i'm all, i'm going to leave it on the bullet in the box sorry you did get a few um so three additional nibs for these pens okay um so I'll maybe activate first let's just activate that one which i haven't activated yet so it's a nice chunky one when i say nice and chunky just i like i like how it feels 
um, in my hand. Um, and I like that it's clear again. You can see the paint. You can see how much you have. You can see whether it's mixed or not. And here you can see that it's a little bit, which side is it here? A little bit light here, a bit dark there. So we know we need to mix it. So let's activate it. So shake, 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 shake. Again, there's no name or number on these um, barrels, which is unfortunate. But again, we can create it. I'll just show you the box again in a second because it did give names. So you just pump it once, twice, and then I just tend to hold it. Um, yeah, so the box, the main large box had the names of the pens in each of the three separate boxes um, on the top of their box. So... We could just figure out which ones those are and just swatch it that way. And then if you want to put a sticky label or something, we you can to label your pens. Although, again, I would rather that it was already on there. Okay, so it doesn't take that long to activate. And there we go. So this is one of the classic sets. Yeah, quite juicy again. So I'll just add it to the swatch. So that's the full set of classic. Quite opaque, you can see that. Um, maybe I would say like this one here is slightly less opaque. So maybe going over it again might make it more opaque, which is not a problem. Two layers, not a problem. I sometimes tend to do that with my Poscas as well um yeah so that's a classic all right it activated a bit quicker than the glitter pens i don't think it took that long yeah and then if i go for the rustling just show you a few You can see how quick a coverage you'd get with that. So this is, um, I said the bullet, the bullet tip would be about, two, it is two to three millimeters, which I would say is between a Posca size, the 5M to the 7M. So 5M was a little bit smaller and 7M is a little bit bigger than these. So I would say it's in between those two. Now for me, I think that's quite a chunky nib for coloring books, to be honest. I think this for me would be limited to um, using on backgrounds because especially in the books I use, maybe not in all books actually with, with large line art, with um, large prints. I think for the books I tend to color, quite detailed books, these would be too thick to color within the line art. Um, but for some books which you might have larger images, Maybe it'll be okay, but look, you can do dots quite nicely. You can get a pretty thin line. If you want to get a thick line, you can get a thicker line, you know. Um, so yeah, you could go pretty thin. So it's not bad, but I think for me, I would limit it to using, and I'm just trying to think my style of coloring, I would use it for dots and I would use it possibly for a background, um, this size. The colors. Yeah, I would use the black for a background, definitely. So that would be like a Posca black pen, just to do a full black background. And then some of the colors for me are a little bit bright. So if I'm limiting it, thinking that I'm only going to use it for backgrounds, then I think that one's quite bright. That one's quite bright for me in that one. I wouldn't tend to do that many red backgrounds with those, but I think the rest are quite nice. Um, yeah, so that was the classic set. Then let's go to the pastel set. Again, it comes in the same kind of a box, same tip. So it will be a bullet or a chisel, whichever one you choose. The size is the same. Sorry for the noise. And there we go. Yeah. So I think I've activated all of them other than this. So let's activate this one. Hold 
ਨੂੰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ I think they take a little bit longer to activate than Posca pen. But then once they're activated, they work really well, don't they? So that's the main thing. We're not it's not like we're there for ages waiting for it to activate. So there we go. That's the pastel set. Again, there are 12 same sort of tip bullet or chisel the bullet is 2.2 to 3 mm so again between a posca 5m and a 7m yeah and you can see they work really well again there's no skipping um the juicy So they work well. Once they're activated, they work well. And I think the pastel set has lovely colors. Okay, there's a gold. I don't know why there's a gold in pastels, but those colors, the pastel colors are gorgeous. Would I use them? Again, I would say it's limited to backgrounds for me. But if you have books that have li larger line art or larger spaces, um bigger images then yes i would say you can use them for that um but i would limit it to my backgrounds and these colors are probably more the kind of colors i would use than those for my back for my backgrounds however again i don't like to do flat color very often so i would try and shade over so I'll, once i show you the last set i will try and use a pencil to shade over and see whether i can color over it well because so the last one pump it once twice and then i just tend to hold it or you could just pump it up and down that's what a lot of people do See, you can sort of see it seeping into the nib now. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty color, isn't it? Okay, so that is the glitter acrylic paint markers. All right. So I think the shades yeah the, so these are 12 these are the the ones i showed you first the glitter paint markers the smaller nibbed ones are 21 and i think that pink is the same as this pink isn't it so i think the shades are basically this the 12 shades are what you would have in the smaller set um however i find that more than being glittery the larger nibs seem to be more metallic which is not a bad thing they're very nice metallic but i wouldn't say they glitter again i would limit it to for me to backgrounds or doing dots because they're metal they're shiny um to me they're metallic i would probably use it for dot effects um embell embellishments on my pages um for those of you who like doing metallic backgrounds these would work great they're nice colors i can show you a few a couple more just to show you that they are quite they flow quite nicely as usual now one thing i wanted to do do i have a blue i have a dark blue this is my 
Faber Castell Arbor Dura Dark Indigo. And I just want to see if I can colour over the top of these acrylic markers. Let me turn it around so I don't get my hands dirty on the wet ones. Um, yeah, that's not bad, is it? You can colour over them. So I would be really happy with that because I would be able to do shading. So yes, you can colour over them. So for me, that is brilliant because I would then use these for backgrounds and then I'd darken up certain areas that I want, uh, you know, a deeper shade to. So in that case, these would be good for my backgrounds. If I couldn't have coloured over it, then for me, these wouldn't work very well because I don't like flat colour. Um, because of the size of the nib, I wouldn't be able to use it in other in other ways other than I think a background. The last thing I have is these uh, 20 piece black and white and I haven't tried these yet so I'm just going to pull them out quickly. I, I realized we have gone on for a bit too long um, but I wanted to give you enough detail because I don't want to Say yes or no to a product without knowing 100% what I feel about it. Um, so yeah, the nib is, I think it's the 0.7 millimeter, uh, yeah, 0.7 millimeter nib, which is, yeah, so it's written right here, which is equivalent to a Posca 1M, which is what I tend to use more often. And um, that's about it. The black is completely black. The white is see-through. You can see the white ink in there. I haven't activated any of these, unfortunately, so I'm going to try now. So I've done the two pumps, and now I'm just going to hold it and hope it comes out quickly. definitely took, is taking longer than the larger markers we've just seen and also those glitter ones we saw it looks like it's coming through yes come on there we go The nib is the plastic nib again. So what was the plastic? I think that those glitter gel pens. Um, this is not flowing as nicely. So I'm just seeing if I've not activated it enough. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that is quite opaque, isn't it? that's the Posca, that's the ZSCM. So they look opaque, that's good. So that was the black and then the white, I think I'll have to do over a colour. So
So yeah, I would say one negative is it takes a bit of time to activate, although I guess the activating process is just the first time, but okay, I think it's, we've got it going, yeah. Okay, so it's juicy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, but the main thing for us will be, is it opaque when it comes to white? do another layer over the top so once it dries but they're basically the same before I put a second layer that's the ZCSM and that's the Posca so the opacities I would say are pretty much equivalent that's on the Castle Art pencils and that's on the Albert Dura which are watercolor pencils which is why they're not as opaque because it's just picking up the black color onto the pen um, but again they're basically working the same. So that's the ZSCM, that's the Posca. So it's not just the ZSCM that don't doesn't work on my Albert Durers. But there you go. When you go over with the second coat, that's pretty opaque. So if I do a second coat on my... <laughs> I've gone over that too many times. But there we go. So you can go over clean off my pen uh, second coat so this is the Posca from what I can see here on, on the castle arts it looks like the ZSCM is more opaque when I put two layers than the Posca but basically, it's a good white pen, um, I would say. And I, the only other white thing I have is the Sakura Jelly, Jelly Roll, which I don't use that often because it doesn't tend to work for me very much, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I think these are the pens. I thought maybe it would have worked so I could show you, but no, it's not working for me. So there we go. I think it's a good white pen, and I think... Um, it's a decent black pen and so it came in the set of the 56 big box however you can buy these separate so the big 56 box of the three acrylic paint markers and the 20 pieces of black and white so 10 of black 10 of white um, that full set was so it was 72.99 for so 73 dollars for the 56 set and so that's six, about 60 pounds. And then you could buy the, the black and white, um, these ones, the 20 piece, separate. And that's, if you bought it separate, so 10 black, 10 white, that was $21, so 17 pounds. And an equivalent I checked for Posca of a mix of black and white and eight sets of so four black and four white was £20. So I think the fact that you can buy this particular box separate, that's pretty good. Um, and then in the large sets, so the, uh, well, these sets here, you can buy, the only thing I could see was the glitter paint, acrylic paint marker set separately. And that was... $26, which is about £21. And Posca, the eight set of Posca glitter pens is £18. So again, it is cheaper. A cheaper, you know, alternative to Posca if you want it. For me, cheaper, if it was working well, cheaper is better because um, of how I use them. I don't think I use it to the full potential. And if I'm just using it for dots here and there, um, it makes sense not to get something that that's ex that expensive. If I'm doing more artwork from it, then yes, I would want the best. Um, so I would say these are pretty good. Um, the only thing I would say is with Posca, you can buy 
a single pen, single color separately, so stock pens. So if you run out of one color, you can just replace that one color. Whereas with this, you don't have stock pens. And for me, whenever I look for um, any product, so for example, my Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura pencils, my um, Neo Color 2s, um, what else do I have? My Tombow Dual Brush Pens. Those are my main um, things that I tend to use that are a bit of a higher price and you can buy them all stock because I think that just makes sense long term. Um, but yeah, so the big question is, would I spend my money on these products? So first of all, I would say a big yes to the black and white. I think they worked really well. I think they were as good as the Posca for what I use them for. And I get so many more. Um, they're basically um, worth it in terms of the cost. So the, this set, I would probably buy it separate, not as the large 56 piece set. So I would buy this one separate. Yes, I would definitely spend my money on that one. Um, I'm happy that I found some good white pens now again, other than the Poscas. Um, would I spend money on the glitter paint markers? So that is this one. They were nice. They were really nice. Um, I could blend with them, which is one thing I, I tend to do with my glitter gel pens. But they're not as many colours as I could get in a glitter gel pen set. So I think... And the whole process of having to activate it. I think it's easier just to use glitter gel pens. But this is a nice alternative. So yes, I think I would spend my money on these ones. For what I use them for um, in colouring books, the size of them works really well. Um, so yeah, I think I would use, I would buy, I would spend my money on these ones. Yeah. And then this set, so all the big pens. I don't think I would spend on the glitter set of 12. I don't think I would buy that because I don't see how I would use it. Actually, the glitter, because it's metallic, maybe I could do dots with them. I can do backgrounds if I wanted a metallic background. I think those colors don't work for me. So no for the classic. Yes, 100% yes for the pastels. I think they're lovely colors. And um, I can see myself using that, that for backgrounds. Um, in some of my mythographics and then like I said shading over to give my more depth to the pages and that will cover up background so fast so yes and I love the colors those are really nice colors so I think that one you can buy separately so yes I would spend my money on that that one I didn't see on the website separately but if they had that separately yes but I don't think I would buy that but I would only be limited in my style of coloring to doing backgrounds with these so I have other options for backgrounds. I have my Neo Color 2s. I have my Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I have my Soft Pastels. I have Distress Inks. So I wouldn't necessarily buy these over those. So I think the big markers, so all these big ones, probably not for my style of coloring. So I don't think... I love the colours of the pastels for the background, so yes, but then if I think about what else I have in my collection, my colouring supply collection, I don't think I would need them. So probably not. So none of these. Yes, for these. Um, although I'd be happy with glitter gel pens too, but a definite yes for the black and white. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it was a little bit long, a little bit in depth, but um, hopefully it helps you make an informed decision for yourselves if you are interested um, in these products. Um, so hopefully I'll see you guys soon again on my next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.